everybody, welcome to Storytime. My name's Emily and this week is a very special week. It's Science Week. The 15th to the 23rd of August is National Science Week where people all across Australia celebrate science. And today, I'm gonna to be telling you a story with the help of my friend, Mr. Goggly Eyes. Here he is, look at him. So happy and excited for his story. The story is called Mr. Goggly Eyes and the Science Experiment. It was Monday morning and Mr. Goggly Eyes was just finishing his breakfast when his phone rang. Bring, bring, it was his friend Melinda. Do you know what week it is? She asked excitedly. No, replied Mr. Goggly Eyes. It's science week, she exclaimed. Ooh, replied Mr. Goggly Eyes. What science week? Science week is a whole week dedicated to celebrating science. Science is the study of the world around us. Science is about observing things and asking why they happen. Scientists do all sorts of amazing experiments to help them understand the world. Science is awesome! After he got off the phone, Mr. Goggly Eyes thought very hard. He had to do something to celebrate Science Week. Hmm, <gasps> he would do an experiment. He rushed to his closet and he grabbed his lab coat. Oh, here we go. Let's pop Mr. Goggly Eyes' lab coat on him. Just like that. There he is in his lab coat. Ready for some science. And then he rushed to his all occasion hat collection and grabbed his thinking hat. So he grabbed his thinking cap, popped that on, and he also grabbed some safety goggles. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, there they are. Gotta have your safety goggles when you're doing an experiment. Let's pop them on. There he is, ready for an experiment. He rushed to his computer and Googled, easy science experiments. Oh, Eureka, he cried. I found it, a wonderful science experiment. I will blow up a balloon using vinegar and bicarb soda. Secretly, he didn't think it would work, but he was gonna try anyway. Quickly, he gathered his supplies. One bottle, a funnel, A balloon, bicarb soda, and vinegar. First, he poured the bicarb soda into the balloon using the funnel. Hmm. Let's take our funnel and pop it in the top of our balloon here. And we'll pour our bicarb in the top. Cups, just like a powder, like that. Shake it down in, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. There's a bit more to go in. Then he tipped the vinegar into the bottle. And we're gonna use our funnel again. Pop that on. Then he upended the balloon over the mouth of the bottle and shook the soda in. He held his breath. What was going to happen? Here we go. Let's give it a try. So we've got our balloon over the mouth of the bottle, just like that. And now we're going to tip the balloon up and shake the soda in. <gasps> See what happens. Oh, whoa! The vinegar and the bicarb soda fizzed in the bottle. Look at that go! And to his amazement, the balloon 
started to inflate. Whoa! I did it, he cried in amazement. But how? But why? He thought very hard. Hmm, why is it happening? Wow, look at that. And then he had an idea. I'll ask Melinda. She knows so much about science. She's very smart. He rang Melinda. Bring, bring. He explained his experiment and asked for her help. When the bicarb soda and the vinegar mix together, they react and they release a gas called carbon dioxide. This gas blows up the balloon. When people breathe out, their breath contains carbon dioxide too. So this experiment, instead of a person blowing gas into the balloon, is from the reaction between the vinegar and the bicarb soda, explained Melinda. Thank you so much, exclaimed Mr. Goggly Eyes. I feel smarter already. With that, Mr. Goggly Eyes hung up the phone and smiled to himself. I love Science Week. Maybe I'll do another experiment tomorrow. The end. How cool was that? Got to do a science experiment with Mr. Goggly Eyes and blow up a balloon just like that. I think there was so much vinegar in my bottle that I even got some of the liquid in the balloon. Oops, let's tie that off. I don't know about you, but I had a pretty fun time doing an experiment with Mr. Goggly Eyes over here. I got to blow up a balloon using what's called a chemical reaction. Pretty cool, hey? Hmm. Maybe you can try that experiment at home yourself with the help of a grown-up because it uses some pretty basic pantry items like vinegar and bicarb soda and some other simple equipment like a balloon, a funnel and a bottle. Maybe now you can go also check out the Science Week website, National Science Week, um, and see if there's any fun sciencey things on there. Happy Science Week, everyone. Bye.